Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as serialization. Now, uh, to demonstrate what exactly serialization means, we'll take a class called as save. Now, in this class, let me create only one variable as int i. Now, see, if we talk about this class, it has only one variable as i. That means if I create object of save, now let's suppose if I create object of save here, so it's save obj equal to new save, so new save. Now it will create an object, right? It will create an object in this way. Let's suppose it creates an object. And in this object will be having one variable. So in this object will have one variable. So we'll say i. Okay. So the value, the, the object is obj. So this object name is obj. And in this object, I have a variable called as i. Now, so if I assign the value for i is as obj i will say 4 that means if i assign this value here so what it becomes is where i is equal to it will become 4 right so my i value is 4 but what if if i create one more object so obj 1 equal to new save okay and if i say if i if what what will the value of this obj so if I say if I if I take one more object, it will be named as uh, if I take one more object and in this object, this the object for this object is obj oh obj one and in this also I have a variable called as i. Now the value the value for this variable is unknown now, right? Because we have just created the object, or it is not unknown exactly, it's zero. So since we have only created the object, we don't have value. So to assign to assign this value to this object, right, what we can do is instead of creating object in this way, it will exactly copy. Like if I say obj, it will copy the values of obj in obj1. It will it will take the it will take the memory. It will take the values. But what's my funda here is what I need to do. Let's suppose we are working with some game, we are working with some application or if you, if you are playing some game, like let's suppose if you are playing a game called as cricket. So if you talk about this EA Sports Cricket, in this you can play game and once let's suppose you have scored 50 run in one wicket uh, and you have uh, 4 overs done. So when you want to save, you know, when you want to exit, you will save, right? So when you want to save your object that we we never store the whole object. What we store is we store its state. State means we will not store the object. We will store the state of the variables. Like I will not store the whole object. I will store the value of I, the value of if I have four variables. If I, I will store only the values right because when i create new object i will get the memory i will get the memory but what i will not get is okay. now this two object have the same memory same amount of memory the difference is this object has value as 4 and this object i value is 0 right so what i can do is when you want to store when you want to store this this data in a file you can store this data in a file and then after you can you know you can uh, get it back so to implement this thing what we need is we again have to implement the code where we can save data in a file but this time we will not store data we will store objects okay so for this we'll say again we have to follow those steps of uh, file input stream if you remember our last code so i hope you have my last video uh, this code if you remember so yeah so what I have to do is if, if in order to store data, I will pick up these two lines. Okay. I will pick up this line, this line also. So copy and here I can just paste it. So this is my code, right? So it's file output stream, then it's data output stream. Now again, uh, some, some, some steps. So we have to import the package and package is imported and yeah. Uh, we have to handle the exception so we can say close exception right now now the problem is again let me change the file name we'll say file name as obj.txt doesn't matter what's the file name so we'll say obj.txt 
Now in this, if you talk about this object, this is file object, right? Normal file object. In order to store anything in a file, you require a file output stream which defines the type of data you'll be storing. So it will be a stream format, right? But this time we are not storing data, we'll be storing object, right? So for this in Java, we have some new class called as object output stream. So instead of using data output stream, you can use object output stream. And here also it will be object, right? Again, we have to import the package. So package is imported. Right, and we'll say OOS instead of TOS. Okay. Now, in order to store this data, we have a method called as write object. So instead of write UTF in the last code, we'll say write object. And in this object, we have to send our data, send our object, which is OBJ, right? So now, this OBJ will store in this OBJ.txt. Now again, file name doesn't matter, you can have any file name, but the state of this object will be stored in this file. Okay, so if I run this, if I just run this, so shift F6. And we'll see some output, it's taking time. Yeah, now we can see there is an error, error says, the, there is an exception in main which is not serializable exception it's because java is pretty secure language see when you talk about saving the object it should not be by default allowed right because if you allow your object to be stored it can be used for a malicious purpose so what we need is when by default in java that it will not allow you to store the object so to make it allow we have to use some of some marker interface and one of the marker interface to uh, implement to work with uh, serialization is serializable so if you implement your class with serializable it will allow it will allow your object to be saved and the amazing part is this is just a marker interface that means this interface don't have any declaration so it means you don't have to implement anything so now we've done this It's built successful. Now let me go to the folder where, where I have that file. So if I go to my documents, I have NetBean project and hello without main. I can see we have a file here. So if I open this in WordPad, so there, something is saved, right? As uh, as normal user, we cannot say this, but Java can read. So it mentioned that we have a, a class called a save in this we have a variable i and we have some value for it right so let me close this now what if you want to get the value back so for to demonstrate how to retrieve value we'll take one more object as save obj1 but this time we will not take value uh, we will not go for new save because it will give the default values i want values to be uh, come from our file so what we can do is to in, uh, to get data we can say we can we have to retrieve data from file so these are this is the code to to get the data so copy and paste using this you can you can communicate with your file so yeah but instead of get we are not we don't want data we want object so object input stream and object input stream now control shift i to pack to import the package now to retrieve data we have we have, we have to change this so we'll say ois so ois dot so to read we have read object so read object yeah now the problem is when you say read object it will return you the object of class called as object right so in java we have a default class called as object so when you say read object it will give you object of object so what i need is i need to convert that object into save object so we'll cast it with save okay and that's it now if you want to get the value of obj1 so we'll say s out we'll say obj1 dot i and it will give you value of i uh, we'll print something we'll value of obj1 so to make it simple and if i run this now so it's 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 yeah, object of uh, value of obj1 
is 4, right? OBJ1 value is 4. Now, again, a quick recap. So, what we have is we have we need a class called a save. We can have any class. That class need to be need to be implement uh, CLI is able so that the object of save will be saved. In this class, I have one variable. So, if I create object, uh, let me initialize the variable as foo and so after we have initialized we have to store that object in a file called this obj.txt and when retrieving uh, we have to concentrate on this file this classes class name file output stream object output stream to retrieve file input stream and for object input stream and this cast is necessary because we, you will get object of object class and that's a simple part of serialization so if you have any doubts please comment thank you so much